Good morning. I'm CJ Waji, Director of Community Education. On behalf of the Utica Community Schools Alternative Learning Center and Adult Education Programs, I would like to welcome you to the 2020 Commencement Ceremonies. Gentlemen, please remove your caps and everyone please rise for the National Anthem. You may be seated. It is my honor to welcome Dr. Christine Johns, the Utica Community Schools Board of Education, Central Office Administrators, and Ms. Gail Clore, the Utica Alternative Center Administrator. Of course, our guests of honor, the graduating class of 2020. The students here today have completed all requirements necessary to earn a Utica Community Schools High School Diploma. Our students come to us from many different backgrounds and experiences, but as each student embraced the importance of education, their path leads us all of us here today in a united celebration. Our graduates have worked hard to get to this moment. Many have had to balance jobs, families, and their education in the quest for a high school diploma. But through the support and encouragement of families, friends, and staff, they've made it here today. At this time, I would like to introduce Gail Clore, Administrator for the Utica Community Schools Alternative Learning Center. Good morning. My name is Gail Clore. I am the Administrator of the Utica Alternative Learning Center. On behalf of the graduates, I would like to thank all of your parents and families who have helped our graduates meet this milestone. I would also like to thank Dr. Christine Johns, Superintendent of Utica Community Schools, the Board of Education, C.J. Waji, Director of Community Education, Central Office Administration, and the entire Adult Education and Utica Alternative Learning Center staff. A special thank you to Christy Pappas, Cheryl Lyons, and Linda Buckley for all their work behind the scenes. The graduating class of 2020 has overcome many unusual challenges and obstacles. But through it all, you have remained steadfast in your desire to gain a quality education. The academics, combined with a strong social and emotional mentor program, has helped to mold students into caring, responsible citizens who understand and embrace the importance of putting others first. Our diverse population provided opportunities for students to help interpret for English language learners, and students also volunteered to assist in a peer-to-peer -peer program, helping others learn daily life skills. The students in this class sponsored the Green Club, cleaned up the environment, adopted animals, collected canned goods and clothing for the needy, and read to elementary students just beginning their reading journey. Empathy, kindness, positive communication, and leadership skills combined with opportunities to apply these skills has helped to ignite a flame in all of you combined with hands-on opportunities to experience the struggles of other community members. A famous line from the Irish poet William Butler Yeats explains, education is not the filling of a pail but the lighting of a fire, which reflects our belief that we have tried to ignite a flame by not only helping you to develop academic skills but by offering opportunities for self-improvement. 
we now look to you to take that fire within you and continue to make a difference in the world by remaining open to others' ideas, listening without judgment, remembering the obstacles others may be facing, and looking for ways to make positive difference in the world around you. The fuel for that fire is with you every day, friends, family, and staff that will always be there to help when you need them. Perseverance and determination has helped you to overcome failure and get to this day. Take those sparks of inspiration and keep striving toward your bright future with hope and a steady sense of purpose. Today, you will see students wearing different color honor cords. These cords signify students who have completed their program as part of the National Adult Education Honor Society, the Seal of Global Language, students who were dual enrolled, took AP classes, or are graduating with a high grade point average. Students who have the navy blue cords are distinguished as gaining the seal of global language. Students with gold cords received a grade point average of 3.3 or higher while they have been in our program. Students wearing a royal blue cord completed the advanced placement courses. White cords signifies dual enrollment at Macomb Community College. The blue and gold cords represent the National Adult Education Honor Society. We are pleased to recognize two students who are recipients of the Superintendent's Scholarship. These students were chosen for this prestigious award from a number of applicants. This year's winners are Shania Buck and Chandler McElhaney. Congratulations to both of you. Graduation Alliance is the company that provides the online content for the Utica Alternative Learning Center. Each year, Graduation Alliance generously awards students with $5,000 worth of scholarships. This scholarship is based on student achievement and citizenship and academic improvement. On behalf of the Utica Alternative Learning Center staff and the Graduation Alliance administrative team, I am pleased to announce that this year's winners will receive $1,250 for college this fall. This year's recipients are Marissa Madursky, Nelson Quam, Cameron Gizzoni, Jacob Trainer. Congratulations, scholarship winners. As part of our graduation ceremony, we are honored to hear from students from each of our graduating programs. These students wrote their own story to express their feelings about graduation. Our first speaker is Shania Buck, recipient of the Superintendent Scholarship. Shania came to the Utica Alternative Learning Center with a can-do attitude and positive outlook for the future. Shania was always willing to assist others and is a strong moral compass. For starters, I would like to thank Dr. Johns, members of the board, Ms. Clore, all faculty, staff, family, and friends for joining us today as we celebrate a huge milestone. I also would like to thank my fellow peers, the class of 2020. After months of countdown and excited anticipation, graduation day is finally upon us. Despite what we had to go through during this pandemic, we all still managed to graduate. So many things that I once took for granted were gone. Random encounters in the hallways, gathering with friends, friendly waves between classes, even those awkward handshakes or hug moments, which seem unfathomable now. It's unfortunate that my senior peers and I won't get a traditional senior year to celebrate, but we have come so far. I never thought that I would be here standing before you to give this speech. At times, things felt almost impossible for me. Unlike other students that have spent all three years of high school at UAOC, I enrolled at UAOC the fall of 2019. It was hard not knowing anyone because everyone seemed to know everyone but me. Moving from city to city, state to state, feeling welcome is what I hoped for. I was thankful that UAOC made it a priority to make all students feel welcome. My struggles in school started early on. I fell behind freshman year. I had just moved from Michigan to Minnesota. I wasn't surrounding myself with the right crowds and problems at home made it difficult for me to focus. I was distracted, not worrying about school, let alone the consequences that will come with bad decisions in the near future. Then sophomore year came and yet again, I moved to another city. Once again, I had to start all over. New school, new peers, everything changed. 
but my attitude towards school didn't. I continued to slack off and failed to complete the 10th grade. Most of you are probably wondering why I did not complete the 10th grade. Well, due to consistent moving back and forth from Michigan to Minnesota, I fell further behind. When I got back to Michigan, something did click with me. I was entering junior year without my sophomore credits, and I knew that I would have to work hard to succeed. I knew I needed to do better. I didn't have to be that girl everyone knew would slack off in school. I could be anyone I wanted to be, and this time I wanted to change. I strived to do better and made some progress. Although I was unable to make up all my credits that I had missed off my year, I was sent to UALC my senior year. At first I was hesitant, but I have to say it was the best year overall and was the best fit for me. UALC provided me with so many new opportunities that I am grateful for and will cherish forever. I was able to attend breakfast with Superintendent Dr. Johns, able to dual enroll at Macomb Community College, take honor classes, and win scholarships that would help me achieve my dreams. All it took was for me to actually want change, patience within myself, and patience and understanding from our teachers and staff at UALC. Now as we approach the beginning of the rest of our lives, I want to leave you with some wisdom for the years to come as we prepare to go our separate ways. The first one is be patient, let's face it. We all know that after today, most of us will not see each other again. And once that reality hits, you'll realize that you should have stopped and smelled the roses. Most of us have voiced how ready we were to leave school and move on to bigger and better things, but the truth is these are years we will never get back and memories we won't experience again. The next lesson is to let no one else define you. No one has the right to tell you what you can and can't do. Nobody knows what the future holds for you and who you may influence along the way. Every one of us is unique, and that means we will take on different paths and hurdles to reach success. I'm here to tell you it doesn't matter how long or what order you do it, as long as you get it done for yourself. Yes, you are going to have failures along the way, but accept failure and learn from it. Failure is a part of life, and you have to know how to take advantage of it. Recognize you failed, learn from it, build on it, and move forward. I've obviously had my share of learning experiences, but just use this as a building block to your next success. Your next job in life is to figure out what you want to do and what your calling may be. Encourage yourself to give yourself motivation to keep pushing forward, even if the world may seem against you. There is no easy path without obstacles to achieve your dreams and goals. However, don't worry about those obstacles. Embrace them, dive into them head first because you have nothing to lose. With that being said, this year, our last year walking the halls of UALC has been an incredible experience for us all. We wouldn't have any of these experiences without our incredible principal, counselors, teachers, and staff. Thank you to our teachers who have put so much of themselves into preparing us for our future and making us believe in ourselves and our power to take ourselves wherever we wish to go. Thank you to our loved ones for pushing us to do better and helping us along the way. Thank you to the class of 2020 for making sure that whatever happened in school or out, you didn't let it stop you from graduating. Last but certainly not least, thank you to all my peers for helping make this year the best year ever. For being friends any high school student will want. Friends that help me focus while having fun. I love you all. Thank you, Shania, for your inspirational speech. Our next speaker, representing the Utica Alternative Learning Center, is Cameron Gazzoni. Cameron has shown perseverance and has been an advocate for the importance of education. Cameron's positive perspective on the importance of never giving up is apparent when he speaks to new students as part of the student leadership panel. First of all, I would like to thank Dr. Johns, members of the board, Mrs. Clore, Mr. Anderson, teachers, and staff, because without them, we would not be here today. I would like to congratulate all of the students here, including myself, for finally graduating. We did it. Certainly, our parents have a lot to be proud of. Just think, parents. In a few months, many of us will be going off to college or getting a job, and you'll get what you've been waiting for a long time, to turn that now empty bedroom into a home office or workout room that will see more TV than weights. In life, I have learned that there are a lot of ups and downs, and you are not the only one who has had them. That's one of many life lessons that I have learned at the Utica Alternative Learning Center. Everyone has had a different obstacle that has brought them here and we all accept each other. As a small school, there is minimal drama. We all get along, we respect each other, and we look past our differences. 
I ended up at the Utica Alternative Learning Center because of pure laziness. I lost the drive and motivation I was once so full of. and went straight down a rabbit hole that felt like was a never-ending descent. I sat in the classroom staring at papers, not doing them, but scoring well on tests. I would slowly get through stuff as if one day it would finish itself. I fell behind as a super senior because I did not snap those gears early enough to get it done on time. We cannot forget the help of our teachers. Without the constant support and help from all the teachers, it would not have been possible for a majority of us. No matter what situation was going on, if we were having a bad day, if a student was yelling at them over things out of their control, they always stayed calm and brushed it off and continued to help, and they were always there to talk to. Teachers and staff who I would like to acknowledge and use as an example would start off with Ms. McCarthy. As a freshman coming into a school where there was mixed classes, and now I share a room with seniors was a bit unsettling but she instantly made me feel like I had someone I could go to and receive advice and assistance from. Another teacher who since her arrival has been a big assistance was Ms. Kay. She is always related to the students and at times was the person to go to when you were in a bind. I would like to personally thank all of the staff and the tremendous amount of support and the amazing laughs always. I never felt more accepted by teachers than I did at the Alternative Learning Center and I'd like to thank you all for that. A few things that I have learned at the Utica Alternative Learning Center I will carry forever. The first being resilience, the will to want something and knowing that you need to work for it, and always being positive because it is never the end. I have learned when I have an issue, troubleshoot it. Look for other ways to solve the problem and not just give up. Nothing will ever be given to you unless you earn it, or you put in all the effort to reach that goal. I will always be strong-minded and keep working until the problem or situation is finished and achieved properly. Every end has a new beginning. Today might be the last day for us as students at the Utica Alternative Learning Center, but I believe learning will actually start and extend from today. Graduation is not an end goal in itself, it is a part of the larger journey of life. Wherever your future takes you, let it take you somewhere you are happy. Life is a journey and all the goals we achieve during it should be taken as starting points for further goals and opportunities. Our graduation should serve as a launching point, sending us to wherever our futures are meant to take us. Whether we land ourselves a career, take up a trade, or continue our education at college or technical school. The road that lies ahead won't be easy. There will be obstacles and missed exits. Potholes and roadblocks, there will be times when each of us feel like we cannot possibly go on. There will be times when each of us feel that he or she is alone with our backs against the wall. But we are not alone. We are in this world together. We've made it this far. Why should we back out now? Nothing worthwhile is easy. And that includes making the most out of our futures. From this day forward, let us make each decision with our best interest in mind. Let us believe in ourselves so that we reach our goals and fulfill our dreams. We've already taken the first steps by making it to the celebration today. Now it's time to take the next steps in the journey and begin to build our futures. In conclusion, I would like to thank everyone who has assisted me along the way in this first part of my life. I appreciate the support from all the teachers, staff, and my peers. I appreciate all the stories and experience I've gotten to be a part of and make, the friends I've made, the students and teachers, and the everlasting stories we shall all share. Remember to stay positive, keep your head up, eyes on the prize, and never give up. I hope the best for everyone and thank you for everything. Congratulations, we did it. Our last speaker comes to us from the Adult Education Program, Yulin Aston Pugh. Together, Yulin and her husband persevered and are both graduating with us here today. Yulin started with the Adult Education Program in the fall of 2017, and in two years, she was able to earn all of her high school credits. She did this while continuing to work full time and care for her family. Yulin is an example to all of those still working hard to achieve their goals, and we're proud of her, to say the least. Hello, and good morning. My name is Yulin Austin Pugh, and I am representing the Utica Community Schools Adult Education graduating class of 2020. I would like to thank the superintendent, the Board of Education, teachers, families, my fellow classmate and distinguished guests for being a part of a special event. Becoming pregnant at an early age forced me to drop out of school. Attending school and being a full-time mother was difficult. So school was put off as my family continued to grow. Although I chose my family, I always knew that if I wanted to better my life, I would have to go back to school to earn a high school diploma. I believe this had to be the first step in my journey towards achieving the career of my dreams. As the years went on, my husband and I had 10 children. Having 10 children, working multiple jobs, and spending any free time 
with the family were some of the reasons I could not go back to school. Then, one day, I learned of UCS, Adult Education Program, while attending a movie. While at the theater, an ad for the school appeared across the screen. I took down the number and called the next day. When I called, they told me to come in and register. So I did. I never felt so proud of myself, although I knew it would be a struggle to have to start with zero credits. But I did it anyway. After starting my new journey, I would come home from school and talk about what I had learned with my husband. He became interested in obtaining his diploma as well. So I encouraged him to enroll in the program. This was a very exciting time for the both of us. We attended every class together and never missed. There were days when we went to school straight from work or had to leave school to go to work, but we always attended. Attending together became our date night. Before we knew it, we completed the requirements and are now high school graduates. Not only had I earned all 22 of my credits with Utica Adult Education Program, I was also inducted into the National Adult Education Honor Society. What made it even more special was that my husband and I accomplished all of this together. We did it. I now plan to enroll in college and start the next step in my journey going into the medical field. My message to you today is that it's never too late to achieve your goals. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Yulin, for your heartfelt personal story. It is now my pleasure to introduce our superintendent of schools, Dr. Christine Johns. Our school greatly appreciates her leadership and service. As a close-knit school community, we have seen our teachers, staff, parents, and residents come together in a positive way to support each other and our students. We remain thankful for her steady guidance, support, and commitment to the success of every Utica Community School student and the bright future we know is ahead for the class of 2020. Dr. Johns began her post-secondary education at the University of Pittsburgh, earning her bachelor's degree. She received her first master's degree from Johns Hopkins University. She then earned both a master's and doctoral degree in educational administration from Harvard University. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Christine Johns. Thank you, and good morning, graduates and families. It is truly my sincere pleasure to speak with you today as we celebrate the exceptional class of 2020. At the beginning of this year, you most likely had a vision for how your senior year would unfold. Not only graduation day, but those months leading up to it. It all seems so clear. However, unusual circumstances are preventing us from being together in person. You, the class of 2020, have sacrificed many cherished activities so our families and community can be safe. But we are united today as a community to celebrate our graduates and carry forward with our graduation traditions. Class of 2020, we have watched you grow from curious, wide-eyed youngsters into confident and inspiring young adults. I've been reflecting back to the times when we may have met at a visit to your school or during special events such as school plays, musical performances, academic competitions, student government events, or recognition ceremonies. Perhaps we talked at the career focus luncheon, at a football game, the college or career fair, or as a scholarship recipient. I am truly grateful to have shared those moments with you. So many memorable moments are woven into what has become your UCS experience. Today is one of those memories. For instance, your UCS education has prepared you with the knowledge and skills to rapidly adapt to a changing world and a different learning environment. 
you have witnessed how important it is to problem solve and work together. Moving forward, graduates, you have the agility to reassess, redefine, and make smarter, sound decisions. You have come to understand the connectedness we all share, and you fully appreciate the value of quality time spent with family and friends. You also understand that you will truly live global lives and compete in a global workplace. Class of 2020, you are moving forward with a sense of clarity. You know what really matters, and you will continue to care for one another while exhibiting gratitude in all you do. You have learned this by living it. Allow these recent events to guide you, graduates. As leaders, you will determine how change will affect us and how we will respond. From designing a more efficient process in your workplace to developing a new healing agent to forging ahead in scientific pursuits that preserve our world. Your confidence and ingenuity will serve our community, our state, and even our nation well into the future. You are makers of history. Make no mistake, your strength of character and laser-focused optimism can truly change the world. Your leadership and your service to our community and our country are needed and appreciated. During trying times, a new generation of leaders emerge. Go forth and be those leaders. These are just a few of the many reasons we acknowledge and celebrate your accomplishments, your creativity, your kindness, and your academic achievements today. And now this community, your community, is collectively putting its arms around you, embracing you, and sending you off on your next life journey, wrapped in all the hope and love you can imagine. You are the class of 2020. You are Utica Strong, and I could not be more proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce our Board of Education President, Dr. Robert Ross. Since his election to the Board of Education 16 years ago, Dr. Ross has honorably served this community as trustee, treasurer, and now president. He continues to support UCS students through exemplary stewardship and his resolute commitment to our mission. He and his wife, Luann, are proud parents to four UCS graduates. Dr. Ross holds both a PhD and bachelor's degree in physics from Wayne State University. He is a professor of physics at the University of Detroit Mercy. Please welcome our Board of Education President, Dr. Robert Ross. Thank you very much, Dr. Johns. Students, family members, friends, administrators, teachers, and my fellow board members, thank you for watching this exciting event. We appreciate your support of this class of 2020. I'd like the proud families and friends of these fantastic, wonderful students to stand for a minute and be recognized. We're grateful for all the support and love that you've shown these students in this class of 2020. We're grateful for all the support and love that you've shown to these students in the class of 2020. I'd love to know how many people just stood up, but I'll never know. Sorry. <laughs> one thing I know for sure is that no one expected this was going to happen. Your senior year did not end the way you planned. There's nothing any of us can do to change that. One of my kids graduated 20 years ago from UCS. Just think of the stories that you'll have in 20 years. I have a few remarks, so uh, be patient with me. There's a lot of talk in the media, daily conversation of the new normal. What's it gonna look like when we go back to work or to school? What is the new normal gonna be? I recommend you forget the new normal because there never was an old normal. For you, everything is new. I'm a scientist. I've been one for over 40 years. In fact, I'm a physicist. When I hear the word normal, the first thing I think of is the mathematical definition of normal. In math, normal means perpendicular. It's a funny word, but that's what it means. In math and physics, we tend to think of normal as a direction. In particular, a direction that is perpendicular to something. Usually that something is a surface, but it doesn't have to be. So if you'll indulge me for a minute 
and think of normal as a direction, well, it takes on a whole different meaning. You control your direction. You get to control which way you want to go. Suppose you're driving north and make a hard right turn. Now you're heading east. East is perpendicular or normal to north. If you're heading north and you do a U-turn, now you're heading south. South is not perpendicular to north. It's not normal to north. In the next few months, you'll be heading out in a new direction. If you decide you want to change directions, that is OK. You can and maybe should explore different paths. You can veer off to the right, to the left, or keep going straight. There is a lot to explore, and you have choices. Doing a 180 may not be a great idea, but who knows? My recommendation is that you seek to develop something that you are passionate about, something you love to do. Find that thing that you love and go for it. Listen to advice, but you choose what to do. Nobody can do that for you. When you leave here, I ask you to do one thing. At some point in your life, it doesn't have to be tomorrow, do something for your country and expect nothing in return. Now, no one wants to listen to me, I know that, but you might want to hear this. The faculty of the Utica Community Schools has recommended to the superintendent that a Utica Community Schools high school diploma be conferred upon you by the authority vested in your Board of Education by the State of Michigan, it gives me great pleasure to announce that you are officially graduates of the Utica Community Schools. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the Utica Community Schools Class of 2020. <laughs> Alexis Adams Angelo Etik Samuel Azu Tyler Johan Bauer Tyler Brothers Raven Sherelle Bumpus April Bushy Sanaya Nicole Bike Michael Dakota Caudill Michaela Michelle Champion Ali Mohammed Cherry, Talitha Rose Terrence Collicut, Isabella Marie Colorado, Adriana Dedvukaj, Mark Aries Dietz. Servi Dermishlari. Hani Nabil Eshak. Rifa Roni Farouk. Montserrat Flores. Justin Michael Gardner. Cameron Gizzoni. Alexander Nua Gajarashash. Mateo Gajarashash. Robert Glavaski. Andrew Lamont Hammonds, Jr. Marcos Antonio Herrera. Kenyon Tyler Holmes. Alexandria Joe Hughes Rogers. Mark Iveza.
Nelson Qual. Sarah Lapeer. Andrew Lizotte. David Mitchell Jadura. Madison Lockerbie. Zachary Lockwood. Anton Logajera. Elisabetta Lumage. Rachel Elizabeth Mabbitt. Marissa Marie Modersky. Nathaniel Matthews. Chandler Michael McElhaney. Kenneth McGuffin. Christopher Anthony Michael. Cole Miller. Tyler William Miller. Jarrell Kawan Nelson. Jillian Ann Nicolaj. April Grace O'Donnell. Sidisu Pondet. Abelardo Renteria. Dylan Brad Russell. Ahmad Safawi. Isaac Andrew Sardeki. Giovanni Christian Shaba. Rawad Thayer Shaba. Miriam Jamil Shahin. Darius Trevon Stewart. Londell Martez Sykes. Serena Talia. Trevon Terrell. Kevin Ivas Towns. Jacob Donald Trainer. Hassan Usman. Amanda Grace Whitford. Colton James Wilcox. Ariana Nicole Williams. Tania Ashanti Wilson. Yusuf Mohsen Yusuf Zora. Bertine Ablaha. Iqbal Al Halabi. Benina Al Hail. Yulin Alston Pugh. Fidia Ballo. Myrna Ballo. Tatiana Baraniuk. John Bazu. Vivian Bazi. Neil Clark. Amber Khan. 
Reham Elias, Edward Anton Selly Gnaim, Harriet Harvey, Abdul Monam Kanhush, Anand Kanhush. Ragad Kano Maki Kimura Houston Q Tahmina Mahmoud Riva Malaka Randall Pugh Shihin Sifar Gara Ali Feke Ahmed Rita Shamu Rita Yusuf Fareed Siba Tanya Yelda Rhonda Zaytuna Graduating seniors at this time, please place your hand on your tassel and now move your tassel from right to left. I am honored and privileged to introduce the adult education and Utica Alternative Learning Center graduates of 2020. Congratulations, graduates.